The Milwaukee Bucks have the Eastern Conference's second best record. They'll visit the Barclays Center tonight for a matchup with the Eastern Conference second best ATS team in the Brooklyn Nets. We are here to break it down for you guys from a sports betting point of view. I'll give you guys my pick and my prediction in the game. This is Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. And I also have a promo code to give you guys at the end of the video. But for now, if you guys could hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and let us know in the comment section. Who do you guys have in this game? Player prop, side, total, you name it. We'd love to hear it. Hear it. Let us know who you guys like in the comment section. So looking at the Wager Talk Live Odds screen, Milwaukee Bucks, uh, three-point road favorites total sits at 240.5 high total. However, these teams faced off once already, and the final score, that game was also in Brooklyn, and the final score of that one was 129-125. Milwaukee prevailed by four points in that one. Looking at the injury, injury report, uh, Giannis is the only player appearing for either side. He's questionable for this one, so we'll have to monitor that and see if he plays. If if he was in for this one, uh, Bucks at negative three would be a play for me. Even coming off the layoff, Brooklyn is on the second of a back-to-back -back here. Uh, Milwaukee, 22-8 and eight on the season straight up. 13-16-1 ATS. Nets, 15-15 and 15 straight up. Uh, but the Eastern Conference is second best ATS team at 15, I'm sorry, 18, 13, and 1 ATS on the year. Uh, two teams tied in front of them, so second best, third technically, I guess, if you want to include the tie, the two teams tied just a couple games ahead of them. Uh, the Bucks. it looks like they stuck around New York after their loss on Christmas Day to the Knicks. They they stuck around New York City so they were facing the Nets anyway. Uh, lost that one, 129-122 on Christmas Day to the Knicks. And that snapped a seven-game winning streak for the Bucks, where they had been dominant. This team is just scoring at will this season. They're, they're not playing very good defense, but uh, 132 points a game in the, in, during that seven-game winning streak that was snapped against the Knicks, where they put up a good total in that one, just allowed too many points, 129-122 against the Knicks on Christmas Day. Bucks number two uh, offensively scoring team, 124.5 a, a game, but number 23 in defensive scoring with 119 allowed per game. Uh, Nets come into this one, uh, winners of two in a row. They took care of business against the Pistons, although the Pistons did, did push them a little bit last night. It looked like the Pistons could have actually maybe snapped that losing streak before they start setting uh, NBA histor historical records there. But uh, they had the Nets had been on a five-game losing streak before their two against the Pistons, but they've come back to life. Pistons will do that for just about anybody. And Bridges has been come back to life as well in those two games with Detroit, averaging 25 a game in those last two games, and he's getting the job done at the free throw line. Got to the free throw line 25 times in those two games, 19 for 25 on the free throws. So Bridges, his scoring coming back to life. And the Nets, they are the number 12 scoring team in the NBA, 116 a game. Number 19 in defensive scoring with 115 and a half allowed a game. One prop that sticks out to me here is Cam Johnson for the Nets. His point total is sitting at 14 and a half now. He's cleared that in his last four games. He's uh, stepped it up with the shooting. He's also been really good at home. He, uh, six of his last nine home games, he's went over this total. And one of the times he fell short, he had 14 in that one. So just died on the hook. Consistently getting to 15 points at home, though. And if you look at his games against the Bucs, uh, that game against the Bucs early in the year, he had 19 against them there. 18 in his last back-to-back -back home game. Nets, obviously, in the back-to-back -back here. So, Cam Johnson, 14 and a half points. Looks like a spot for me in this one. Guys, use the co promo code... Uh, I'm sorry, use the promo code HOLIDAY7. And you get a seven-day pass for $69. Really good deal, guys. Uh, all access, seven days, $69. Use the code HOLIDAY7. I'm 6-0 and the last three days, running hot. A really good Christmas, Christmas Eve, and then the following day as well for me. 21-12 and 12 hoops run for me. So a great spot here to, to grab a pass. I'll have NFL action, and I'll also have a college bowl play I'll be posting later today. So use that code HOLIDAY7, guys. But for official play for this one, I'm looking at Cam Johnson over 14.5 points. He's been scoring it consistently. If if Giannis is a go, 
and the line doesn't move too much, I could say I could see playing the Bucks at negative three. But I also like the over here. Uh, Bucks have been like the cheat code to the over this season. You're scoring tons of points, allowing plenty of points. We have the Nets on a back to back, maybe a little bit of lackadaisical defense. So I lean towards the over here. And my official play for this one will be Cam Johnson over 14 and a half points. He's been shooting at he's been shooting great and he's hit it in his last four games. So uh, thanks a lot, guys. Good luck. I'll see you next video.